Delta Airlines reporting quarterly results. Let's get right over to Phil LeBeau. He has those numbers. Phil, what's it look like? Becky, this is a beat on the bottom line in the third quarter for Delta, the company earning $2.03 a share, well above, or not well above, but above estimates of a buck ninety-five. Keep in mind those estimates have come down since September 1st, down about 17%. So the street was expecting lower EPS. But Delta did beat with 203 for the quarter. Revenue in line with expectations at 14.55 billion. The numbers within the numbers, operating margin in the third quarter of 13.5%. Passenger revenue per seat mile down 1.5% in the quarter. Cost per seat mile up 1.3% in the third quarter. But non-fuel costs, they came in below analyst estimates. Jet fuel cost down 21% in the third quarter. Remember, they got about an 11 cent to benefit. Uh, in the third quarter from the trainer facility, the uh, refinery facility that they own. So that's one reason why the uh, jet fuel cost coming in down 21 percent year over year. Now the guidance, fourth quarter, EPS of a buck five to a buck 30. The street's at a buck nine right now. Revenue expected to be up 9 to 12 percent. The street's expecting an increase of 10.6 percent. They also are expecting robust domestic and international travel in the fourth quarter. So they're not changing their guidance in terms of what they're seeing in terms of bookings and the expectation of the consumer. They are, however, expecting fuel costs to increase 290 to 320 a gallon. That compares with 278 a gallon in the third quarter. So they will be seeing higher fuel costs in the fourth quarter. Finally, there is the full year guidance, and this is important. Two changes here. One, Delta is narrowing its 2023 full year earnings guidance to between $6 and $6.25. Remember, just a few months ago, they had raised their uh, expectation to be between $6 and $7 a share. Now they're saying it's $6 to $6.25. Revenue is going to be up approximately 20% for the year, and Delta is lowering its 2023 free cash flow guidance to $2 billion. Previously, they said it was going to be $3 billion. Now it's going to be $2 billion. That's a reflection of the higher jet fuel costs, the impact in the fourth quarter, as well as higher maintenance costs, which we saw in the third quarter here at Delta and in the fourth quarter. Lots to discuss with Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta. That is coming up in a half hour, guys. You don't want to miss what he has to say, especially about what they're noticing in terms of bookings, because they've been very clear they see a robust consumer continuing as they head into the holiday season. Let's just talk for a minute about this. Delta, everything you just said sounded like it was a little bit of a disappointment just in terms of, you know, fuel costs are going to be higher. Cash flow is going to be below yep. expectations. Earnings for the full year are going to come in at the low end of their earlier guidance. And yet the stock is up by, well, it was up by more than 2%. Now it's up by about 1.1%. Should I read into this that this is all news that was maybe I, I would, anticipated because of those higher look, fuel I, I, costs? They're the nicest house in the neighborhood, Becky. That's the easiest way to say it. I mean, if you were looking at an airline that is performing in a somewhat difficult environment, Delta is the airline that is doing that. Yes, they have brought down their earnings expectations or narrowed the guidance for full year earnings. And yes, the estimates did come down during the third quarter. But if you take a look at where Delta is right now relative to a number of their competitors, that's the reason why the stock is uh, up maybe 1%. But no doubt, all of the airline stocks are under pressure right now. Even with consumers continuing to travel and no signs of a crack in consumer demand for, for travel? They're not seeing it here. And they're yeah. also starting to see corporate travel. The expectation is that corporate travel will continue to improve. And, you know, we talk with Ed every quarter and we ask him, are you seeing a slowdown in the consumer? They are not seeing it domestically. They definitely are not seeing it in certain parts of uh, their international route network. Transatlantic remains very strong and they're just starting to ramp up in terms of the Pacific region. So they're not noticing it yet.